Hello guys and welcome to YouTube for you. So in this new tutorial series we will start working on how to use C++ using Unreal Engine 4. So here I have created a simple blank project using C++. So before starting make sure you guys have set up your video studio with Unreal Engine 4 properly. So here in my contact browser as you guys can see I have simple blank project. So we will start working from completely scratch. First we will create a simple blueprint that will rotate our actor and later we will convert that same blueprint functionality to C++ and learn how to use C++ with Unreal Engine 4. So let's get started guys. So now I'm gonna go to my content browser and create a new folder. I'm gonna call this blueprint work like so and here in my blueprint work folder I'm gonna create a new blueprint class the parent class will be our actor and call this rotate actor underscore blueprint so here is our rotate actor blueprint created first I'm gonna add a new component and select static mesh component like so and assign a static mesh of cube now I'm gonna go to my counter uh, event graph and grab my static mesh set world rotation grab my world rotation of static mesh combine the rotator and in my z axis I'm gonna add 2 and connect this to my set world rotation now I'm gonna grab my blueprint and place it into my level and simulate this so as you guys can see my cube is rotating simply so now let's convert the same functionality to C++ and learn how to work in C++. Let's go to the content browser over in my C++ classes and I'm gonna create a new C++ class based on actor and create next. I'm gonna call this rotate actor underscore CPP set this to public and create class give it a little time to visual studio to generate the project files like so so here i have created my rotate actor cpp class this is my header file and this is my c++ file so in our header file we will declare our in which we declare our functions variable and components and in our C++ file we write we will write our code and implement the same functionality and implement the functionality that we want so in C, in header file we declare our functions parameters and variables and in C++ file we in C++ file we implement our function variable and stuff like that so let's start from hash pragma once so anything that starts from hash is a preprocessor command that is going to be evaluated before compilation and hash pragma once is our header guard which prevent us to which prevents us from including single header file multiple times to a single translation unit and these are our hash include files that are included by default when we create this simple rotate actor C++ class and now let's add the static mesh component using C++ so for creating a static mesh component we need to add a header file for static mesh component so for doing this I'm gonna google it 
C plus UV for C plus plus static mesh component. And here you guys can see this is my header file that we need to include for creating a static mesh component. I'm gonna copy the name and over in my dot header class I'm gonna hash include and paste the name like so. So make sure that whenever you hash include some file the dot generated hash file must be at last and all of your hash include files comes before the dot generated dot h file otherwise the compilation will fail so these are my access modifier public protected and private and over in my public access modifier i'm gonna create a new pointer type variable for my static mesh and i'm gonna search for use static mesh component and call this mesh so here is our pointer type variable for static mesh component is created now I'm gonna go to my C++ class and over in my constructor here is our constructor and I'm gonna search for mesh and the mesh will be equal to create default sub object and the object will be our use static mesh component I'm gonna call this give it a name I'm gonna call this static mesh like so control save and let's build the project and check the result in our in the project so I'm gonna open Unreal Engine and here is our C++ class rotate actor C++ class I'm gonna create a new blueprint class right click create a blueprint class based on rotate actor CPP and I'm gonna call this my rotate actor CPP underscore blueprint and create a blueprint class over here so here you guys can see my static mesh component is added but when I click the static mesh component there is not any properties appear over in details panel so now let's go back to visual studio so here comes the use of view property I'm gonna create a new view property and pass it to for the specifier I'm gonna pass the edit anywhere blueprint read right and the category is equal to static mesh so you can search out the all the specifier that you can use for the u property and for the for in my case i'm going to use the edit anyway blueprint read write so that i can edit the static mesh properties using blueprints or in details panel so now i'm gonna control shift and b and build the project so here now i'm gonna open my class and here you guys can see when i click the mesh now i have all the properties that i can edit and change using blueprints so over here I'm gonna add a new static mesh like so and now let's add the actor to our level so now let's add the rotating functionality functionality to our C++ actor so for this I'm gonna go to my video studio and over in my C++ class here is my event tick I'm gonna grab my mesh and set world rotation and pass it to the rotation that we wanna set so let's open our blueprint class here you guys can see over in my event tick I'm gonna grab my static mesh get world rotation and combine the rotator and set the world rotation so 
for passing the relation first I'm gonna create a new variable variable type will be a rotator and I'm gonna call this rotation and this will be equal to our mesh and get component rotation so in C++ you can use you don't use the word get world rotation instead you can use the get component rotation now I'm gonna get component rotation and after that we combine the rotator so for combining the rotation I'm gonna ro grab my rotation variable set it and equal to so for combining the rotator we need this node and here you guys can see the target is kismet math library so we need to add the math library for for accessing this combined rotator so for adding the kismet math library into our header file I'm gonna go to Google and here you guys can see I have searched for kismet math library and here is our header file I'm gonna copy the name and go to my header file and hash include and paste the name over here so here is our kismet math library included now I can use all the functionality that I can use all the functions that the that this class have so for this I'm gonna search for you kismet so now I'm gonna search for you kismet math library and search for compose rotator and pass the rotation the first will be our rotation variable and the second will be f rotator and for the pitch I'm gonna add 0 and for yaw we will add 2 and for roll we need we will add 0 so after that we set the mesh set per rotation and for the rotation I'm gonna pass the variable like so and now let's build our project so now I'm gonna go to the level hit simulate and here you guys can see my C++ actor is also rotating so this is my C++ based actor you guys can see the parent class is my rotate actor CPP and our C++ actor is also rotating same as a same as like our blueprint actor so I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel you can also support me on patreon and stay tuned for the next tutorials